All right, Shalom family. Just coming to you. This is a chart that I put together a while back, but y'all allowed me to gather scripture and resources to put it together. And uh, this chart right here is going to disprove the Friday to Sunday resurrection, okay? Um, first of all, the Messiah, he was the Passover lamb. He followed the feast days, even until death, y'all. And I made this chart to not only prove that, but also to prove that um, when a day actually starts. And I'm going to use a few scriptures, okay? So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. First off, we know that the Passover was on the 14th day of the month. Now I want you to pay attention that according to the calendar in AD 31, the first day of the month was on a Thursday. Sabbath was just two days later. So that knocks that lunar calendar out, y'all. Because the lunar calendar established that the first day of the month, you have to count seven days in this, this Shabbat. Well, that theory is wrong. It doesn't matter what day of the week the month starts. That does not start the week over. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, I'm going to make another video with that. But... We know that he was the Passover lamb, and he was on the 14th day of the month, correct? Alright, now, Hamashiach died on the 14th day of the month, which is the fourth day of the week, which is Wednesday, okay? And it's going to be according to Daniel 27. The Messiah was to be cut off in the midst of the week. Daniel 29, 27, y'all. So he was cut off in the midst of the week, okay? And now y'all need to understand that it was actually two Sabbaths that week. It was two Sabbaths that week. You have the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And you have the seven day Shabbat. It was two Sabbaths. One was a high Sabbath. The other one was the weekly Sabbath. Alright. So. He died. On the 14th day of the month. Okay. Passover, which also it was a preparation day for the high Sabbath. And I'm going to find some scriptures for you all. I'm going to flip to Matthew chapter 27. Let me, and I'm using just a regular King James version. It's going to say Jesus, so please don't stall me. Let's flip to Matthew chapter 27, verse 57. Now, I want you to pay attention to this verse. Look what this verse said. And this is Joseph for Amathea. He went to bed pilot for the body. Look what it says. When the eve was calm, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Hamashiach. Okay? Now, notice... It's saying when Eve had Cain. Now, Eve had Cain, and it was the day of the Passover, correct? So right here, when Eve came, my mother probably died around 3 o'clock. Eve came, he went to go beg Pilate for the body. Now this is the question. If Eve starts a new day, wouldn't he have broken the commandment? To go and beg for Pilate's, beg Pilate for the body? Not only that, it's just the, if you read, and I'm going to give you scripture so you can read it on your own. Just read the account. Matthew chapter 27, verses 57 through 66. Mark 15, verses 42 through 47. Luke 23, verses 50 through 56. And John 19, verse 38. If you read all those gospels and put it together, you will understand that this man worked all night, y'all. All night. Okay, but let's get back to it. Hamashiach died on Wednesday. Okay, this man worked all night to put him in the tomb before the Sabbath. Okay, so if he put him in the tomb before the Sabbath, this would be the first day. This would be the first night. That's Thursday. This will be the second day. This will be the second night. That's Friday. This will be the third day. This will be the third night. That's Saturday. And he did put him in the tomb before sunrise. So technically, 
before the first day of the week. Before the dawning of the first day of the week. Hamashiach rose sometime prior to the dawning of the first day of the week. So technically he still rose on Saturday. Saturday night to be exact. Okay. The seventh day. He rose on Saturday night. Okay. That's how you get your three days and your three nights. Because he put him in the tomb late. Very late. Almost going into Thursday. Okay. That's how you get it. One day. One night. Two days. Two nights. Three days. Three nights. Okay. Before the dining of the first day of the week. So by the time Mary came to the tomb. On the first day of the week. He was already gone. Okay. But I wanted to show y'all that. Because you can't get three days and three nights. From Friday to Sunday. That's impossible. We we understand that logically. But when we get in the scriptures. We, we dumbfounded. We become dumbfounded. And also that also proves that. A day does not start at evening. Because this man worked all night. And let me find the script. To show you. Uh, let's go to Luke 23. Let's go to Luke 23. Alright. And verse 54. Now let, now, he worked all night, y'all. And it says... And he took... Let's, look, let's go back to... 52. This is about Joseph, okay? The guy who begged Pilate for the body. It says, This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Yahusha. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen. Now, it's a process of taking the body down, y'all, and laid it in the sepulchre that was hewn in stone, wherein never, wherein never man before was laid. Now, check out verse 54. And that day was the preparation day or the preparation and the sabbath drew on now remember we went to the other verse in matthew that showed you that he begged Pilate for the body at evening he did he worked all night in the evening then he went and laid this man in the tomb and the sabbath drew on so that lets you know that even does not start today. This man worked that whole evening all the way up until the wee hours of the before the morning of Thursday. Okay. Before that Sabbath, because that next day, y'all, is a high Sabbath. It's the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So he would have broke the commandments by working like that. If the day started at evening. And you can't say it's a good deed. Because in, embalming his body was a good deed. But the woman rest. They didn't even embalm his body. So y'all. I just wanted to make this real quick. Showing you that. A day. Does not start. At the evening time. According to the, the death account of the Messiah. And you cannot get three days and three nights from Friday. To Sunday, it's impossible. This man died in the midst of the week, according to Daniel 9:27. He was put in the tomb prior to the rising of the sun on Thursday. From so from Thursday morning all the way to Saturday night. That that has your three days and your three nights. I hope this has edified you, and I pray that the Most High will guide you in spirit and in truth. Shalom.